Hey everyone! So today I am going to be in a Q and A. I was meant to do this Q and A like so long ago. That's why I think I asked like ages ago, um, and it just didn't happen. So I am filming it now. So all these questions you probably all forgot that you asked me, but I'm here doing it again. This will be a long one because there's so many questions. Also, if my camera goes out of focus or anything, my camera's still broken, can't see what I'm filming, so I'm sorry if you see, all you can see is my forehead or my chest. I doubt you'll be able to see my face, but if you, if you have, well done Steph, proud of you. Can you give any advice on heartbreaks? Um, I don't really know, people deal with it differently. Um, surround yourself with people who will love and support you, like friends, family, do stuff that you want to love, want to do, what not want to love. Um, like, go to a concert, they're always fun, scream your heart out, cry, dance away, all your pain. <laughs> that should be a song. Um, but yeah, don't focus on the negatives of it if you can. I know you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I miss the time when I was with them. A song comes on and then you're like, oh my god, we need to listen to this song. That's what I would do. <laughs> um, so try not, do, not to do that as easy as it said. No, it's easier said than done. I can, I can, yeah, just... <laughs> I'm so bad at advice. I'm so sorry. Um, are you still friends with Emily and Victoria? Hi, you two, if you're watching. Probably not. Um, well, people just grow and stuff happens and people grow apart. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to comment on it. Advice on first kisses. Just go for it. <laughs> Unless you're with like a boy who calls himself a 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10, um, he will be nervous too. So, or she, you can kiss who you want to kiss. Um, but yeah, just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? I don't really know. Because they're not going to go, oh, you're such a bad kisser, unless they're an actual idiot. Um, so yeah, just go for it. Advice on when your friends leave you? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, it can be very hard, like, I feel like sometimes it can be even harder than a breakup, because some friend, it depends how, um, long you were friends for, how close you were as friends, um, but I would just say, think about it from like the start so think about maybe the reasons why you aren't friends anymore the reasons why you were friends think about what you gained from that friendship and what you didn't um that's what i've done in the past um towards people who i who i aren't who i'm not friends with anymore um so i always think about um why we aren't friends anymore sometimes it is really hard because you actually can't think of the reason why you're not friends anymore and it's always um a bit of a like an unknown area i guess but you've just got to focus on yourself don't focus on them like if they're got other friends and post it all over snapchat and you're like oh i wish i was with them still be like no get out with your other friends or on your own have a party show them what they're missing you have to carry on with your life you can't be still sat in your bedroom crying over somebody who has clearly lost you as a really good friend like that's just life which youtubers do you like to watch I really enjoy watching the Sakoni Jolies, they're an Irish family. Um, I, I've i liked them for so many years. I think I met them the first time I ever went to Summer in the City, which was 2015 maybe, 15, 14, I think it was 15. Um, I do also like to watch the big, main big ones like Zoe, Alfie, Joe. I have my days where I'm like mm, not really feeling 
um, it and will watch somebody else. Um, I do like watching this um, channel called Theme Park Worldwide. They're really cool. They go around theme parks worldwide, <laughs> funnily enough. And I guess I just live vicariously through them and see where I would like to go, like theme parks wise, because I love theme parks. But I have no one to go with because half the friends I have don't like rides. If you like rides, you want to go to a theme park, hit me up. Um, I also love watching Disney vlogs. Like, I'm a massive fan of Disney, so um, I also live vicariously through them. But yeah, I watch quite a lot. I also watch a um, show called What Would You Do? Um, that's really cool. They do like um, social experiments, which is really cool. I end up crying at most of them, <laughs> um, but that's just me. Favourite movie character? Oh gosh. Um, well, I'll go from like something easy, like Disney wise. My favourite character in Disney is Winnie the Pooh. I think he's such a pure character and I just love him to pieces. <laughs> Like, honey, <laughs> it has two meanings. Um, but for like actual, f well, for non-Disney films, um, gosh. See, I rarely see films because I just cry at them all. So, <laughs> um, favourite movie character? When I first read that question, the person that came into my head was Augustus. From the fault in our stars i don't know why but that's who first came into my head so i'm gonna say him what's the most interesting thing you found <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um what's the most interesting thing i've found No idea. Any tips on being more social? <laughs> I'm actually really bad at socialising. Like, if you watch my channel and watch my vlogs normally, um, you'll be like, wow, she's so confident in everything. I can generally tell you that I'm really not confident, especially in so social situations. But I feel like um, to be more social, get, like, your one friend who you can like go out with and then go to like a club or something or a party or like say if you're in college or school um i feel like it's always better to be social with somebody else like with you rather than you trying to be social with people you don't know on your own if that makes any sense going to events also like going to concerts i don't think um the me that's the me that's in college is a lot more reserved my college friends will be like what you all about um than the me that's at concerts just because of the environment and the people who you, you surround yourself with how was life different a year ago i don't even remember what happened this morning Oh yes, so <laughs> Road Trip just uploaded a cover of Bad Guy by Billie Eilish and I am down to listen to that. So we'll do that after this. I don't know, because I literally can't remember what's, like so much has happened. Um, and some are good, some are bad. So I definitely feel like I'm in a better place now. Um, like right now where my feelings are at where my mindset is at I'm in a good place I'm um, loving life <laughs> I'm excited for future things that are happening and I'm very content with the things that have happened like who I've met and stuff like that so yeah I feel like I have grown a lot as a person and I do realise what is good like who's good and who's n bad for me because i'm too nice I, if somebody was to explain me in a person they would say she's too nice she needs to be 
Like, I'm too nice to other people. I can criticise myself to the moon and back about how I look and about how what I do, how I do things, how I act and stuff like that. But when it comes to other people and how they act towards me and stuff like that, I'm too nice. I'm, I'm too... Like, in a way, I don't want to hurt their feelings by telling them the truth about how I feel about them. So, I need to work on that more. <laughs> Are you still friends with Maisie or did you fall out? Love your YouTube, BTW. Thanks for liking my YouTube. And me and Maisie are still friends. Um, it's just the case that she lives all the way in Liverpool and we never really um, see each other. It's hard to see each other because we're always busy. Um, but yeah, she's lovely. And we do talk a lot. I'm going to do this as a last question because I feel like I've rambled on for so much. Do you think a long distance relationship could work? I do, but um, I feel like there has to be that communication. Um, I feel like that has to work with any relationship anyway. Because if you don't talk, it's not going to really work and you're going to lose interest in each other, I feel like. But I do feel like um, long distance relationships could be really cute. It was always nice to like know somebody a lot more than I think. I feel like it gives you a lot more time to get to know the person um, and to plan what you're gonna do because obviously it takes more planning if they live further away than if they don't. Um, but yeah, I think it could work. It just depends on the two people who are involved and if they're willing to like travel and stuff like that it just depends I don't know it's a bit of a difficult situation like I've never been in a long distance relationship so um I wish I could tell you from experience but I don't have any um but I don't see it as a bad thing but I can see um what could be good and what couldn't be good within it hope you enjoyed it this is so serious like <laughs> um thanks for all the questions thank you so much as well for 2.1k subscribers it means the absolute world like honestly i'm so excited about it um i will do more q and a's if you want them like this video if you do or comment down below or just let me know in dms on a social media platform and i will do another one because i have more questions that I could delve into and tell you about. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Then there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark You should know you're beautiful just the way